Hello, in this video we are going to take a look at the button bar class. Well, the button bar class essentially is a end-aligned row of buttons. It allows you to place the buttons horizontally, basically according to the padding that you specify. So it's a great way of just, you know, grouping buttons together. So to implement it, pretty simple to be fair. So it's add the other child. So you just do button bar and in here what we need to do is specify some children so we're going to say children and here we can specify the children so let's you know create some buttons so i want to create a flat button type of button the complexity of the button is totally up to you 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 know are fully in charge of that so i'm going to do an unpressed event and I'm not going to put anything in the unpressed. Again, I just want to show you the button bar, so I just need to have some default stuff inside of here. So put the child on, say hello. It needs to be a text. And inside of this, I can say hello and get rid of the semicolon. Now I'm going to add one more flat button. And I'm going to say second button save that let's see what we get so it's hot reloading and there we go we got two buttons right here obviously at the moment they don't do anything that doesn't matter that's you know not our concern at the moment but let me show you some other properties that you can do for the button bar so in the button bar we can specify the alignment so we can say alignment and we do main axis alignment so if we did space evenly let's see what we get with that so as you can see, it has spaced it evenly between the left, right, and the center. And we could do center, for example. So it's all centered now with a bit of a gap. And that's really it for the alignment. You can do main axis size as well. I want you as an extra task to experiment with that. Apart from that, there's nothing else to it, you know, to the button bar. Obviously, each button could be more complex, but you can check out the button, you know, the various button input videos that I've created for more information on all that. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.